a while back I was in an antique shop and I saw this 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 common sense fly book and uh, right away I said oh I've got to, I'm picking this thing up for sure um, it's uh, it's like a it's like a leathery material it's got a couple snaps right here you open it up and it's got see this right here it's that wet and dry fly book it's got the patent on it what's the date there May of 1923. That's pretty old. Um, and it looked like it hasn't haven't been hasn't been used at all. All this stuff is really still solid. Um, so yeah, so I was getting it right away. But then once I saw this, I was like, holy moly! I didn't even want to put it down. Uh, this is the the dry fly box part. So in this one, you'd put the wets. Right, and they've had the leaders attached, like that Mary Overs fly I tied. Uh, and this would be the dry fly part, you see that? Common sense dry fly box. Well, when I opened it up, and there was flies in it. And the flies, uh, they've never been fished, so they're brand new. And um, the reason I know this, obviously, is, is because here's one of them. The wings are still intact. And there's a bunch of flies in here that I know. There's Queen of Waters and um, a few others. This is March Brown in here that I don't know the name of, but I know it's a March Brown, a March Brown wet fly. But this one, I tell you, I don't know what this is, but I like it. It's cool, and it's um, it's pretty easy to replicate as far as knowing the materials. It's a natural brown tail. It's a golden olive body. It's a couple mallard wings and then it's a natural brown hackle there. Now I will say the natural brown hackle that you see right there that isn't exactly an easy size and color to get because usually when they get that big those browns they have the they have a black in the center of it but there's no black there. This is just all brown. Kind of tough. That's kind of tough to actually find. Knowing what it is is easy. But finding it, not so easy. Um, I have a whole bunch of saddles in here, and the only thing I could really find was this Mets Ginger. See that? The hook. Well, I'm assuming the hook is a Mustad or something similar to the age. I, the first box of hooks I ever bought was this thing. Bought it off eBay, and I used it for you know a little bit just to learn how to tie. And then you know you figure out that these hooks are so ridiculously heavy, and the barbs are so massive that you catch a fish on this thing, and it's never coming out. But so that's when I switched the modern hooks. But I kept them, and uh, I don't know what hook this is. I'm fairly certain it's a mustad. Uh, some sort of mustad dry fly hook. It looks like it's about a... I want to say it's a 14 2X. Something like that. In a modern size, 14 2X. I'm using this this tan Edo Uni. Um, now normally when you do a, a winged fly you're going to the middle and you're going back up and you're putting the wing on, but you can't do that in this one. you got to do the body or else it's going to be a real pain. So we're going to go back. To there. And uh, I'm using this. This is just a whiting streamer. Natural brown. The tail. And the tail is pretty, uh, pretty sparse. N not not that many fibers. So we'll just take them off. Make sure they're aligned here. Grab them and then immediately just put them on. We'll look at the length. Could be a hair shorter. I think that's okay. So. These old hooks with their points, man. So 
we'll go here and then we'll go back. All right, dubbing. This golden olive right here, this beaver. That's what I'm going to use. And I think they got a pretty good taper on this thing. So I think we got to match it exactly, but I'd, I'd like to. Let's make sure we got this turn good here. There we go. I think that's all right. Hackle. I'm going to use one of these gingers. A, a darker one. I think this one will work. Just got to be careful of the length. I mean, it's a long hackle in this thing, but. Um, it's not freaking down to here. I mean. And I don't really want that brown barb in it. Can we avoid that? Can we avoid that? Maybe if we just go a hair lighter. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So we're going to put the good side towards us. And we're going to turn this on, but I'm not going to run it up. The reason I don't want to run it up is because I'm trying to save some space. Let's make sure we don't catch any in. We definitely want to keep it keep the hackles from going forward so we'll take that that's good we have a little bit to tie in Some issues getting this thing recorded. I killed two batteries and I ran out of space on my uh, card. I didn't I didn't format the card and I was using two old batteries. <laughs> so I took a break, recharged some things, and everything's ready to go now. Let's put the wing on. Uh, the wing, Mallard, It's, it's tough to find the right part um, for this type of fly. You need, you, need, you need it, see how it's got a little point there? That's what you need. You need one that curves. If you look down at this end, eh, I mean, I guess you could use it, but they use the point part, you know, the, the, the real slopey part of, of the wing. And you can only really get that in like this sort of section. So, um, so there's not, there's not, there's not a lot uh, of this specific type of wing material. You can just cut it off like that. Yeah. See, even I even got a little problem with this one. I think I can. Eh. Sort of. This could take off. Put them next to each other like that, and you line them up. It's easy to, to make sure that they're the same size, and then you just go in and. So we're splaying them like this. And if you look here, I even want to say that they have it almost on the side, not really on the top. Yeah. Like 
sort of on the side and sort of on the top. I don't really want it too on the side though. Yeah. Looks like it right there. Is this guy named Seth Seth Cabaretta? That's his name. That's his Instagram name too. That guy can do a mallard wing with his eyes closed. I mean his mallard wings are freaking perfect. You know what? I'll actually go forward. It's going to be tough, but I think we can get this in. So if you look here, it's played out real good. So let's go back to the hackle. I bet you he could do it without doing it in three sections. Seth. He'd probably be like, what the hell are you doing? You do it like this. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, alright, thanks. You're really making me feel good now. I'll tell you, I haven't done one of these in a million years. <clears throat> so let's, let's make sure. Can I get another turn in? Yeah. So this is going to be fun. Tying this thing off, that is going to be... Let's see if we can fold it back. I don't really want to fold it back. I don't actually. I'll tell you why, because I don't want to screw up that mallet wing. You know who could do it? <laughs> split on me, but I bet you I can bring it back together. As long as you don't crease them, you can pull these things back together. The creasing is the problem. If you crease it, it makes it impossible. So that's it right there. That's good. Yeah. It looks good. So the wing, so if I didn't explain this, the, the wing, since it's splaying out, it's a dry fly. If they were going um, if they were curving towards each other, it would be considered a wet fly. And obviously, this is not a soft tackle. You'd probably you would switch this to a soft tackle. But there it is. It's played good, and um, you, know, you have to do it in that three sections. How I did it, I did. The, I turned the first hackle. I put the wing on, and then I turned it again. And I took the I took the hackle off. Now you probably could turn it a few times tie it off and leave it hanging straight down and I bet you if you know back in back in the day they probably did that when they were in production mode they probably just tied it off put the wing right in there tied that in and then wrap the rest of the hackle that's probably what they did but I mean geez I haven't put a metal wing on in probably I couldn't even tell you how long it's been it's been a long time but I think this one went on okay. I mean, the only thing 
but I see this, you know, it's just I just don't have the, the, the right color hackle. It could be a hair darker, but I don't think it's bad. That's it. All right, an unknown something. I'm going to go talk to some people and maybe I'll come back and, and uh, tell you what this thing is. Um, all right, see ya.